when we think of metals that are liquid at uh, ambient temperatures, we immediately think of mercury. Of course. But unfortunately, mercury is under restriction of hazardous substances, the Rojas list. And uh, you know, we've been so preoccupied in our industry with lead going away, uh, mercury is uh, also uh, taking an exit. And um, you know, there are a lot of applications. So what are we, what are we using in place of uh, mercury these days? Well, there are a whole suite of materials uh, that are liquid metal at room temperature or below room temperature. Brought uh, one of them to show you. And these are primarily gallium alloys uh, with indium. And uh, depending on the melting point, we also put in some tin or zinc. And there's, as you say, there's a suite. There's a range of these alloys with, with different uh, solidus temperatures, I assume. Right, anywhere down to seven or eight degrees Celsius. So they really lend themselves to, to a variety of applications at a wider spectrum than say just old mercury did. Correct, yeah. Very cool. So, I mean, one of the uh, places you might have heard of liquid metal in electronics applications is uh, a few years ago, it was used as a thermal interface material for a very famous processor. And so that's a <laughs> uh, pretty, pretty cool application for, for metal. It's very good for thermal interfacing. What are, what are some of the other applications you're seeing uh, these, these liquid metals apply to? Right. Well, right now, um, using it as a circuit material is huge because you can, uh, you can develop stretchable electronics, mm -hmm. which can be uh, stretched like seven times their length. They can be uh, twisted. And it's uh, very exciting, especially in the field of robotics, where you can uh, stop having um, you, you think of robotics as very rigid, right? And yeah. all of a sudden now you can have something that is more lifelike and something that you could actually wear. I mean, these uh, liquid alloys are really wow. exciting for new applications. Absolutely, yeah. And you're the guy to come to. Yeah. <laughs> as far as uh, people bringing their challenges, uh, their ideas, their imagination, you're the man to interface with at Indium Corporation. Right, yeah. I, I want liquid alloys to be a, a tool in the engineer's toolkit to solve uh, any problem. So, you know, I would say uh, if, if anyone wants to contact me, I can definitely uh, round up a team and help them solve their application, uh, whether it be liquid metals or, you know, low temperature alloys. Uh, they can always, always contact me at jheiser@indium.com. If they want to learn more, they can visit our blog, the Indium blog, which also sometimes talks about uh, gallium indium or other alloys. And uh, indium.com has a lot of information on solders in general, be it low temperature or high temperature. Great. So get your imagination in gear and give Jim a call. Jim, thank you so much. Thank you, Phil.